at this set. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think? I don't believe it. Sebastian, you're just making me crazy. I've got it from here. Let's embark on this captivating Lego build journey with the mesmerizing Ariel's treasure chest set. Discover delightful surprises and features that will appeal to Lego fans of all ages. Don't be a crab. Let's celebrate and dive into this Lego build. Hi everyone, welcome back to Brick by Brick. Today you're with me, Rachel, and we're looking at the Disney Lego Little Mermaid set, Ariel's Treasure Chest. Isn't it just gorgeous? You can see the front of the box here. We've got Ariel, Sebastian and Flounder minifigures, which is really cool. And you can see the back of the box with more detail. There's the blue diamond dress for Ariel, which is so cute. And then some little treasure extras that go in the treasure box. So we'll open up the box and have a look. It is for ages six plus and it's 370 pieces. Uh, you'll see there's five bags here coming out. This is actually the second Disney live action remake to be released in 2023. And the first was Peter Pan and Wendy. So yeah, this live action movie, it's got mixed reviews, but yeah, we'll have a look at some clips today in the video. So we've got some stickers here. We had the dots bracelet just before. The numbers are great, very helpful. <laughs> Thanks Lego. And then we've got our instruction booklet here, beautiful clear pictures, so let's get to it. All right, we'll start here with Ariel. She's got a beautiful tail and translucent fin with a beautiful scale bralette. Her gorgeous face here, brown, beautiful brown eyes and darker skin tone, love the skin tone. And her beautiful, like, all mini locks, I would call them. Her beautiful flower in her hair. We'll give her a lovely spin here, she is so cute. Going back to the locks, we're going to look at Halle Bailey who plays her in the movie. The locks and her extensions that Halle wore in the movie actually cost over $150,000 and they took about 12 to 14 hours to install. That's just craziness. And also when she was remaking uh, Ariel's iconic hair flip, it took Halle about 20 tries to get the moment as perfect as possible. That's crazy. All right, going back to the build, you can see Ariel there in her blue diamond dress with a lovely umbrella. I love this feature in these Disney princess builds. The cool thing about this diamond dress is that it actually turns into like a storage place for the mini figure. So the, the mini doll figure. So all of Ariel's bits and pieces fit right in there. Beautiful like gem type thing. It's really cute. So yeah, have a look back at some of the other sets that include this. They're just fabulous. Back to Ariel. Voila, I love the magic of uh, editing. <laughs> okay, we'll get started on building the base of the treasure chest. And while I'm building this out, I'm going to give you a fantastic fact from the live action film. So the names of King Triton's daughters uh, underwent a change in this version. So interestingly, in the animated film, all of his daughters' names followed a pattern where they began and ended with A. So for instance, Arista. But that was with the exception of Ariel. Um, but in this version, the sisters' names only end with A. So we've got Tamika, Perla, Caspia, Indira, Marla, and Karina. But Ariel, obviously being the rebel, her name only starts with A. So very fantastic. All right, as we're building out the base of the treasure chest, you can see these little indents here, little sliding parts where the drawers will go. We'll build those out in a minute but we'll start by well not start we'll continue by popping these little footings on the base to keep it nice and sturdy when it sits wherever you keep it all right to level out the top we're just going to pop these little base or these plates in and uh, it's got looks like a very sandy color fitting for under the sea and what, another really cool part about this build is this little turntable system that we're going to pop in here so it's kind of like fitting for a jewelry box where the ballerina usually sits uh, in this case, it's for the treasure chest where we can pop Ariel or we can put any of the characters really. So we'll build out the little turntable system here. We've got the little cog there that goes in, a little turning part there. All right, we'll build a little bit more of this out. I love these sorts of functions. They're simple to build and they're just really effective. They just make the build look really cute. So I'll pop that in there. So that bit turns on the side and this bit turns at the top. All right, and there's a gorgeous key. We'll pop Ariel on and give her a little spin. Beautiful, that works so well. Oh, I can just imagine the music playing in the background. <laughs> all right, moving on to bag two. We're gonna be building out the drawers for the treasure chest. So these drawers are great for all of your thingamabobs. You want thingamabobs? <laughs> so yes, yeah, definitely 20. great for a treasure chest to keep all your lovely treasures. If you're using it more like a jewelry box, obviously you'd put jewelry in these little drawers if you can fit them. We'll have a look soon at how they fit in got these gorgeous aqua pieces and this plate with the door rail so obviously that will go onto the track to fit into the treasure chest so we'll build this out got these flat beautiful flat blue piece pieces <laughs> they're really lovely actually I really like that color 
All right, we'll pop these little footings on. These were actually trickier than I thought to get in. Just, there we go, done. <laughs> All right, and these gorgeous curved pieces as the handles. So we've done one and now we've got to do the second one. So it's exactly the same on the other side. So again, got those tracks or those door rails on the plate, the base and the beautiful flat blue pieces. All right, so they just fit in. There's a little attachment piece there you can kind of see that goes on the inside and then the tracks there. Oh, gorgeous, aren't they cute? All right, now we're gonna build a little bit more on the top of the treasure chest, or the, not the top, but the inside, I suppose, or the walls. So these aqua pieces are standing out to match Ariel's tail and fin. And then we've got some little studs there to pop some attachments on soon. Excellent, I like how they've used those pieces to hide the turntable system. Very clever. We've got these beautiful purple lavender pieces to match the key. I love how everything is matching. <laughs> All right, we'll build out the back of it. Gorgeous extra pieces going on the inside. Beautiful. I love all the colors in this set. Oh, there's another track piece up the back. That would obviously be for the lid after. All right, we're gonna be building a bit more out. Got some little stud pieces there. Oh, a little pop of yellow. Right, we'll build this out. More details inside the treasure chest. Always gonna have interesting details going on. I'm gonna build two of these bits out. All right, and those go there, the backing wall. We'll be adding some extras, little surprises to the inside. Soon we'll just build out these little curved pieces so we're able to get our lid to open and close later. Gorgeous, we've got these beautiful details with flowers, little pops of color too, which is lovely. All right, we've got some of Ariel's treasures going in. So you can see this little sea themed piece and some coral going in with these beautiful flowers. They're so cute. So I'm gonna give you a fantastic fact out of Ariel's treasures, she finds a telescope, which I'm about to pop in. Eric drops it in the ocean in the live action movie. It becomes a significant piece in their relationship. Now, I don't wanna spoil the movie much more, but this is a small but important artifact which symbolizes Ariel and Eric's connection and their shared curiosity about the world. So yeah, I thought that was a beautiful little fantastic fact there. Okay, here is Sebastian. He is voiced by David Diggs in the movie. He is a real life crab, obviously. <laughs> so he provides some humor in the movie. David Diggs is actually a famous actor, rapper, Broadway singer. Some of you might know him for being in the Broadway show Hamilton. He plays Jefferson. He actually took lessons in Calypso from the late Trinidadian playwright Tony Hall. So Sebastian's accent is actually a mix of Jamaican and Trinidadian, which is really cool. And another fantastic fact about Sebastian. So unlike the animated film, the live action version actually depicts Sebastian with the correct number of legs, which is 10. So good on you guys. And that includes two pincers. In the animated film, Sebastian only had eight legs because it was easier to animate him that way. All right, this is actually bag four now that we're building out. We're just adding some detail to the inside of the treasure chest. We've got some coral or plant pieces. And we're building out some more stud pieces to pop some more Lego bits in. <laughs> All right, got some more flowers and leaves. Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't help myself. Sorry, guys while we're building this out. If you are liking our fantastic facts uh, or you have your own, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts and also please like and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, do you guys remember what this is called? It's not a fork. It's a dingle hopper. Humans use these babies to style their hair. Awesome, we've got the dingle hopper. I'm glad again, they've got this in the build. A very iconic part of now both movies which is fantastic there's the beautiful disney princess heart i've got to have that in here and a little, little statue lego statue there which is quite cute all right flounder of course we've got to have flounder in this build flounder, look out! Ah! you okay flounder uh, sure you gotta show him who's in charge <laughs> So Flounder is played by Jacob Tremblay and Jacob was actually 13 years old when he first recorded his lines for Flounder. He's currently 16 years old at the time of the movie's release. It's actually his second time voicing a Disney character. He voiced Luca in Disney Pixar's Luca, which is really cute. All right, now what I'm building, we're building a little bit more detail. This is going to be the top of the treasure chest, the lid. So while I'm building that, 
give you another fantastic fact about the live action film. So David Diggs and Jacob Tremblay, this is actually their second time working together. They actually worked together on the 2017 film Wonder. So it's a tearjerker and a half, that one, if you've not seen it, my gosh. All right, let's keep building this out. Beautiful curved pieces on the lid. Got the pops of color with the aqua and the blue. Um, and then we've got these pieces here on the top, which we will keep building out. Love it. All right, and then we've got more footings. These were, again, very difficult to get in. I don't know if it's just me, possibly. But yes, they took a little bit longer to get in. All right, we've got these flat pieces so we can beautifully pop in some of these detailed stickers. Got these gorgeous fish and the bubbles there, little crabby crab. All right, more fish, looks like Nemo. <laughs> and some shells as well. All right, we'll keep building out the lid. Obviously, when this opens up, you can see the beautiful stickers. All right, we'll pop that on top. There we go. Now, this bit is going to be really cute once we get it on top. We've got to have to move Sebastian and Ariel out of the way. There we go. And then we've got these pieces to make sure it's nice and secure. So you squish that in there. Beautiful. Get the other one on the other side. Love it. All right, and then we've got this gorgeous clamshell for the opening area of the treasure chest oh it's so cute love these little details there have included all right we'll build out the top of the treasure chest here while we're building this out uh, recently lego's actually brought out a whole bunch of live action little mermaid lego sets so we've already done the storybook build and it's super cute so if you haven't already check out that video and our next build, sorry, not our next build, what we hope to build in the not too distant future is the amazing clamshell. If you've not seen that Lego set, have a look online. It's just stunning. Oh, uh, the characters in that look very interesting too. I think there's some sisters and Triton included. So oh, we'd love to get our hands on that set. If you've built that set or you know someone who has, let us, oh, like I said, let us know in the comments. We've got these gorgeous stickers and these go all along. I love that you can uh, personalize it to suit your taste. So that's fun. All right, now this is it's an interesting part of the build. It's, it was quite a bit tedious to film, but we've got our Lego Dots bracelet, obviously Little Mermaid themed in the colors. So we'll speed through this, but I do like that this can go, it goes quite nicely with the set. Uh, the colors suit uh, the build, and it's something fun for you to wear or just keep within the treasure chest. So yeah, really nice. So we'll build this out nice and quick. <laughs> beautiful all right we'll pop that around so you can see yeah it just looks it's beautiful on we'll pop it on soon but we'll have a look at what it looks like in the actual treasure chest will it fit no i can't really get the diamond dress in there but we can have a look at what it looks like on the outside gorgeous we'll pop it on there it is Woo! beautiful it was actually quite nice to wear <laughs> Definitely more for the kids, I suppose, but who knows if you're a big Lego Little Mermaid fan, you can show it off with pride. Now here are the drawers. The disappointing thing is the bracelet doesn't quite fit, neither does Ariel. But if you had your own treasures or jewelry that you'd like to keep in there, I'm sure the smaller pieces could fit. You've got to rearrange things so it works. We hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.